Hi, Mark. I just want to take a, minute, a moment to thank you for asking about International. I want to bring you up to date what's going on with KCBS and our International Division, which we call KCBS uh, International Outreach Team. Uh, back in 19, oh, about seven years ago, probably around 19, uh, 2010, uh, I came off the board, and at that time, I asked the board for permission to develop contest overseas, and they were gracious enough to allow me to do it. And so we started it all with the what's going on right here today with the Jack Daniels uh, World Championship. And it started on the basis that we were inviting international teams to the States, and they would come over here, and because of the problems that they had understanding our flavor profiles, never really did well in the contest. So we actually uh, founded the international outreach team, and at that time, with the gracious uh, consent of KCBS, we started our first contest in Hoofdorf, um, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we started off with nine, nine teams that first year. Uh, we just finished their seventh year this year, and they ended up with 54 teams. So we've seen some tremendous growth overseas. I'm pleased to report, as of this year, we had 49 barbecue events outside of the borders of the United States. That includes not only barbecue contests, but KCBS uh, classes and cooking events as such. Uh, we're excited about it. Um, the, our main concentration has been Central and Northern Europe. Up, but um, uh, we have had activities this past year in 2017 in Costa Rica and other venues uh, in Japan uh, uh, and Australia. So we're slowly moving into Central and South America, and there's some activity now in the Pacific Rim. Uh, our concentration has been on contests, but along with that, we've had, uh, I think, uh, impressive growth in uh, membership uh, with uh, trained judges. We now have... Um, uh, 1,802 uh, certified uh, KCBS judges overseas and probably another uh, couple hundred who are just barbecue enthusiasts, either sponsors or people like that that want to be involved with KCBS. So that's excited. Uh, I think it's growing. We've got a couple seals of approval with, with meat sponsors. Uh, some of our challenges have been uh, sponsorship. Uh, of course, it, our contest, like any other hobbies, uh, entails money. And in a lot of foreign countries, barbecue contests is an unknown entity, and therefore it's, it's a problem for contest organizers to secure sponsorship. So that's one of our major challenges. Uh, some of our other ones are just folks like uh, you see in the background here, our, um, our CBJ class over there, which normally takes about five hours for us to teach in Japan took seven and a half hours with the biggest challenge in being of the language barrier. Uh, during that time I looked back and um, we had three interpreters that taught that class with us and um, it's, it's just because of the nature of the culture uh, it's hard to understand sometimes the meaning of, of some of the words that we use uh, even though there might be an English transaction into a Japanese um, uh, translation but um, all in all uh, we're excited about it I think we'll, we'll continue to find growth uh, our projections for 2018 is somewhere between 53 and 56 contests uh, we expect our membership to reach over 2,000 during that period of time and I, uh, for us uh, that's tremendous growth and we're excited about it I do want to say that uh, we have people that are assisting us overseas I have 10 uh, or we have 10 reps right now uh, that's in Europe. We have two in Costa Rica right now that's in training, and we have uh, two uh, certified reps or trained reps in Australia. So um, on behalf of the international outreach team, which consists of uh, the, the Johnsons, who are our cooks, uh, ben, uh, Jim and Becky Johnson, and Bill and Debbie Gage and Wayne and Maria Loman are the instructors and reps for the contest. So we're excited about it. Um, again, anything, um, any chance we get to talk about international, such as this right here, we always want to take advantage. And, and thank you, Mark, for allowing us this time. Got here. Uh, right now, uh, at the 2017, I've got uh, 22 um, uh, con uh, teams from international. We lost one to Puerto Rico for obvious reasons this year, and we had a, a medical problem with another team. So I would have had 24 teams this year, but we, uh, we have 22. I think that's about it. Uh, thank you for the exposure. Uh, we're excited about what's going on international. Uh, if anybody watching this has any inkling of going over and, and judging or cooking, please let me know. I guarantee you, you will be treated like royalty uh, with over there because they're excited about having American judges as well as American teams competing in their contest.
Yes, if, if there's anybody wanting to sponsor a team or any spon- if you want to get your name out there as far as um, a sponsorship, please let me know. Uh, we have our own website. We have our own sponsorship. We have our own uh, logos that we use for international, some very, very similar to KCBS, but a little bit, bit, little bit different. Just come to me, and it will be KCBS International. That's our logo that we're known for. Uh, send it to uh, my address um, at 1859 East Laurel Hollow Lane. And that's in Germantown, in Tennessee. My email address is wloman, L-O-H-M-A-N, at comcast.net. Well, hi, my name is Natasha Lowe. We're from Costa Rica. I'm here with Jose Vargas, part of the Grill Joy team, who won our barbecue fest this year and are here to represent their country for the first time ever at the Jack Daniels. We're really, really pleased, placed with uh, all of the... Um, you know, effort the organization has made. Um, this is tremendous, very nice ambience, and um, we're um, first timers in this contest. So we definitely want to, you know, do a, do a good representation, put on very high the country as much as we can. There's quite a lot of, uh, you know, good people over here that uh, we know very much from internet, from books, from everything. So. It's the first time in Costa Rica. We hope to, to make it uh, perform well. Well, we've had a barbecue fest for five years in our country, and this is the first time that KCBS was able to judge it, and we became participants. Yeah, we, 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 we became participants here for the first time, and it's real fun, and we hope that next year we'll get a lot of these teams to come over to Costa Rica and grill down in paradise. Yeah. We started cooking officially as a team since 2014, and since then uh, we have participated in Barbecue Fest Costa Rica won a couple times, and uh, now I think the uh, grilling and the barbecue in Costa Rica is growing a lot, exploding. More and more teams coming into the competitions, more and more teams aware, and um, really hoping that to get uh, space on championships like this so we're honored by that and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we'll make sure that uh, all of that's you know pass it on to these guys in Costa Rica so they can get a little bit of flavor learning and ensure that we keep growing the barbecue um, culture yeah you can reach us out in Facebook grill droids um, and um, barbecue fest Costa Rica as well uh, hi uh, my name's Ed I'm uh, from a team called bunch of swines in the, the UK uh, we're a husband and wife team, uh, just the two of us, uh, cooking out of well, cooking all across Europe. Um, we're based in the UK, but we do contests in like Germany, Belgium, Holland, uh, Italy. You know, travel around, and uh, we're you know really happy to be back at the Jack this year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you know, in uh, the UK, we have the the bung system. So uh, I think we had uh, four bungs this year. So you know, we won uh, you know a few contests. And you know, that, that sort of uh, you know, gave us the opportunity to come back this year. What do you do when you're not cooking barbecue? When I'm not cooking barbecue, I, um, I actually sell computer software for a living, so it's uh, really boring, really tedious. Uh, so you know, when the weekend comes around, you know, I'm looking forward to sort of kicking back, uh, meeting up with friends and uh, having a good time. Hello, my name is Helmut Karl. I'm from the Salzburger Barbecue Pools in Austria. And I'm the 15th time here, so I'm a grandfather team at Jack Daniels. Uh, the last three years, I won a third place in home cooking for the homeland. And about eight years ago, I was international grand champion. Uh, we are Japan Barbecue <laughs> uh, Sorry, we are Japan Barbecue Shogun team. Okay. Uh-huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so what? Uh, Two years ago, so I went to here, and uh, this is a second time challenge. And this is a, a chief cook. Tamiyo. Oh, my name is Tamiyo, uh, Japan barbecue shogun team chief, chief cooker. Yeah. Okay. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> my We're, barbecue team. Yeah. We are all the members. Yeah. Member, you are there? Hitoshi Shigeno. Hideki. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Kazuto. Okay. Okay. And Miyako. And, and so, so uh, we are. Is this a growing. Uh huh. So. Talk about growing. We will promote a real American barbecue competition to Japan, Japan uh, to Japanese in Japan. So we are uh, 
well, not to China. We will hurt, we will hold. hold barbecue competition in Japan in the future. Okay. Maybe next year? Maybe next year. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and who do they contact if they want to compete? Oh, her. How? Uh, by email. <laughs> email, yes. Email. <laughs> by telephone. How, how email? What's your email address? Uh, email address? Uh, info at jbbqa.org. Info at mark jbbqa.org. Okay. It's uh, so Japan Barbecue Association information. Okay. Got yeah. It. All right. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Hi there, we're the grill team Gut Glut from Germany and I have with me our head cook, that's Dirk. We have Thomas, he's the second important man at the grill. Uh, we have Olaf, we have my daughter Zoe, we have my wife Anke and we have Sylvia which is Thomas' wife. Um, we are um, four times German champion, grand champion, Germany, and uh, we are here as the grandfather team from German barbecue um, because we are, it's our sixth time here and we are doing barbecue since 15 years now. <laughs> I'm an IT architect working for IBM. Uh, yeah, what, what, what are you, he's a, a car inspector. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Dirk is an architect? Yeah, um, accounting. Yes, Zoe, uh, going to school. <laughs> okay. I'm a housewife. Okay. <laughs> I'm also housewife. housewife. <laughs> no. Nine. Uh, accounting. Accounting. <laughs> accounting. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Taxes. Yeah. She's doing taxes. Hello. We're Team Smog at All. And we're from Denmark. And we were winning the Danish championship to be here. And at home we're just this is a chef from Denmark and he's working in the butcher shop today. And uh, when we get back, he will open his own business, doing all kind of nice meats. Okay. And uh, at home, I do kitchens normally, install kitchens and work like that. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, we're really happy to be here and uh, looking forward for a nice contest. And How many contests a year happen in? In this year or? Next year. Next year? I think we'll do about five or six contests this year, so it'll be perfect. Just in your home country? Or? Yeah, no, we're going all over Europe.